and I'm a technical support representative here at Luxime. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and manage your support tickets. So first, log into your account, and then hover over Help, and click on Support Tickets. Then here you're going to see all the support tickets that are in your account. Um, these two I have here are both closed out. Uh, they were ones that were created when the account was initially opened. Um, so I'm going to actually just click on one so you can just see how that looks. So this is the support ticket here. And you'll see on the left it shows that it's in the, the closed section. Um, and you can, of course, update it and reopen the ticket, let's say, if uh, an issue uh, came up with this that has already been closed. Um, and you can also attach uh, files here, which I'll show you in a moment. Um, so let me just close out of that. OK. So let me go back here to support tickets by clicking on it right up here in this bar. All right, so what I'm going to do here is create a new ticket. And then all you have to do is fill out these couple of fields. So I'll just fill out a subject. So I'll just type that in. And then a uh, description. So you can just say whatever it is I'm having. OK. And then if you needed to, you could attach us, uh, say, something like a screenshot or something like that. And all you have to do is click on here, then browse to wherever the file is. And um, then uh, once you've done that, you're, you know, you can upload a, an image, a text file, uh, anything like that. So if it help, if it will help us out, um, you can attach it there. I mean, you can attach uh, more than one file as well if you need to. And this option here is a uh, is a question. Uh, what if support needs to log into your account to help you? or to diagnose your issue. This is essentially a disclaimer allowing us to log into your account and perform any steps we need related to the question to solve whatever your problem is. Um, so you can check that off if you just want to, you know, because otherwise what would happen is if you if we needed to log into your account, we would actually just have to ask you and then go log in. This way if you check this off, you can skip that step. If we need to log into your account, um, this is granting us permission to do that. So you can check that off if you want, and I'm, uh, I'm going to check it off. Um, and then you can select a category. You can select only one category that the support ticket's related to. Um, so try to just pick the best thing that you can. Um, in my case, this, is a, this would be a problem with Outlook. So this would be an external program. So let's see if we can find something here. So we see email programs. Um, and I'd say uh, diagnosing issues is, is my question. So just select that. And then here you can select the severity, and there's informational, standard, urgent, and emergency. Now, typically, you're going to want to use the standard. Um, this gives you just regular priority. You usually get a response back within 15 minutes, and usually no more than an hour during normal support hours. Informational gives you a little bit of lower priority. Let's say if you just have a very basic question, it's not that important to you. You just like to know maybe some technical detail, something like that. You can select that off. You still will usually get a response back within 15 minutes, but it could take longer. Um, then there's urgent if you're something that's you know getting time sensitive, something you need done really soon. Um, once again, you'll probably get an update within 15 minutes or sooner, depending on your question. But urgent tickets we do see when they come in and we try to you know give them a much higher priority um, to review whatever the problem is and get back to you with a, with a, a good answer um, and then of course emergency that's if let's say everything's down you can't access anything um, you know mission critical any kind of really big problem uh, that's what you use emergency for um, and then down here, you can type in who you want to send your support ticket um, update notices to. Um, and then there's this one other option here, which is automatically search the help for possible solutions. Now, in my case, the help might actually have information on this question. But I've already looked there. So I'm just going to uncheck this and then click Submit Ticket. And then that's it. You've submitted a support ticket. Um, and then you can see it over here on the left it, under the active section. So these are all of your open active support tickets. And that's about it for support tickets. You can, of course, also search tickets if you have a lot. Um, you can go by ticket ID, status, severity, a whole bunch of different options. So if you were looking for something and you can't remember what it was, you only remember a little detail, you can find it here. And that's all there is to support tickets. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments on these videos, please feel free to contact us at 1-800-441-6612, send an email to support at luxi.com, 
Or with any sales questions, you can call our 800 number, email sales at luxi.com, or chat with a sales representative by using the sales chat button on our website.